it's one thing to know it, but it's another thing altogether to see it. Like, yeah, you, like you spend your whole life hearing about how big the Grand Canyon is. Motherfuckers named after how big it is. And still, the first time you stand in front of it, you are overwhelmed by its immensity. No amount of measurements and comparisons could have possibly prepared you for it. And that's how I feel about your generosity. Y'all are the grand fucking canyon of altruism. Well, hell, actually better than that, because as impressive as the Grand Canyon is, it ain't going to be any bigger than by the next time I see it, you know, or not noticeably so anyway. But your generosity somehow manages to grow every time we measure it. So, yeah, we, we wrapped up vulgarity for charity on Monday. We, we ended up extending it a couple extra days because we had told our audience one thing. Tom and Cecil had told their audience another and then we ended up going with something different than any of us told anybody. But holy hell, we were on a roll. Our anonymous benefactor kept agreeing to extend their match. And so many families were getting so much help that we could not stop. Now, the total still might grow. The, the fundraiser is over, but we're still getting emails trickling in from people who donated before the deadline. So the number might actually go up a little bit or hell, it might go up a lot. One of the late arriving emails was from a donation for $5,300 with a match from their employer. But as of this recording... It looks like the total amount raised is, and Morgan, if anything ever deserved a drum roll, this is it. $448,282.12. That's right. Our listeners plunked down 224000 bucks, and every penny of that was matched. Guys, that's the 2019 Bulgarity for Charity total plus the 2018 total with another 20 grand for good measure. Oh, and, and do you know what religion the people that we helped were? Neither do I, because nobody involved in this fundraiser gives a shit. We helped everybody. What's more, we never asked any of them to sit through a lecture on atheism. We didn't give them their money along with a copy of God is not great. Hell, since we were doing all of this through modest needs, I doubt any of the beneficiaries even know the money was coming from an atheist fundraiser. And... Needless to say, but I'm going to say it anyway, we weren't promising any of the donors posthumous rewards or threatening them with eternal torture. 100% of these donations came from people who just saw an opportunity to help out a fellow human being and took it or really needed Tom to tell their boss to fuck himself. In fact, I would venture to say that the only way religion factored into this at all was that a lot of atheists really want a chance to push back on the societal prejudice that says that we're not charitable. I mean, sure, we don't stand around talking about how charitable we are as much as religious people do, and we don't spend anywhere near as much time patting ourselves on the back for it, but we still do this shit. When you subtract out giving to my church from charitable donations, we do it as much as any other goddamn group of people in this country. And, and that's all the more impressive when you consider how fucking hard it could be to find charities to give to that don't squirrel away a few dollars of every donation for evangelism. And, and that point, the point about giving to churches, that's super important. Keep in mind that if we were a Christian show rather than an atheist one, we would be a church. Right. All the money that came into our show would be considered a charitable donation from our listeners, even if it just went to pay in our bills and buy an Eli's mango nectar. Religious institutions get zero scrutiny from the IRS and they don't have to tell anybody what they're doing with their fucking donations. So who the hell even knows how much Christian charity actually goes to charity? But we can tell you exactly how much of the money we raised for modest needs went to charity. Hell, we have to by law. It's filed publicly. And yet those motherfuckers want to lecture us about generosity. So there you go, religion. I found a positive effect you have on the world. Your bigotry can inspire people to be better. The fact that you're arrogant enough to believe that the very act of kindness somehow belongs to you can motivate the victims of your prejudice to be not just better than you, but better than they already were. Hell, while we're on the subject, and since I'm bragging about our generosity anyway, I should also point out that your half ass apologetics offer us an opportunity to hone our critical thinking skills and your avarice towards minority groups motivates us to lobby for laws that protect them. So I guess what I'm saying is that in pretty much every way, the silver lining of religion is its absence. <laughs>